Wicked Implement is the final exotic weapon to be released to us for Destiny 2's Season of the Deep. You can obtain this exotic scout rifle through the technically new secret mission. Once you have collected every exotic fish from each corresponding planet, being the EDZ, Nessus, or Throne World, you will then be able to deposit the fish at the helm to retrieve a couple of swords that you can use to open a specific room that will take you to the encounter for the exotic. I'll leave the how-tos for the other content creators, but for now let's just get into the weapon review. View. Starting off, I just want to say that I do not have this catalyst. In fact, I don't even think it's obtainable yet, but I could be wrong. What I will say is, is that after looking at sources such as Video Gamer, it states that its catalyst is just essentially overflow the second you pick up a stasis shard while creeping attrition is active. I don't know if this will be an enhanced version of overflow, but if we were going to go with the basic laws of overflow, this will just grant 30 in the mag, which will help in more ways than just shooting more. But now that that's settled, let's get into what we do know about this weapon. Wicked Implements Exotic Perk states that rapidly landing precision hits will cause targets to get slowed. This requires three precision shots in order to proc, and creeping attrition will remain indefinitely procced as long as you keep landing a set of three precision shots. Now the number of slow it applies is 40, so in order to freeze an enemy you need a total of three shots on them. Now for its secondary perk, Tithing Harvest. This makes it to where your exotic perk never is actually truly wasted, stating that precision flows while Creeping Attrition is active creates a stasis shard that will return to you. And as an addition, collecting stasis shards will refill your magazine. And that last part truly means any stasis shard. So if it is one that is created by the stasis subclass being with the respective classes aspect to spawn them, all stasis shards will refill the magazine. Now for the part that says that the shard will return to you, this shard is not playing any games. He will haul ass across the damn map for you. Whisper of Conduction not needed at all. But this only applies to the shard that Wicked Implement creates all on its own. Any other source, and you're out of luck. So slap on Whisper of Conduction. Along with this stasis shard spawning, a tiny bit of synergy does go with it. By slapping on an elemental charge, with every stasis shard you collect, we'll have an increasing chance to gain an armor charge off of it. It does take quite a few, so I wouldn't really say that this is busted by any means, but this is an avenue that you can explore. Now as far as the subclass goes, this synergy is practically endless. For almost every fragment deals with the application of collecting shards or defeating slowed or frozen enemies, and Wicked Implement does all three. I was going to list all the fragments that this weapon synergizes with in this video, but the more and more I looked at it I realized that it would be much faster if I just tell you the ones that don't synergize with the weapon, which would be only four fragments. Whisper of Torment, Shards, Fracture, and Impetus. Now after getting rid of those, your options are still open to a full 10 fragments. So in terms of build crafting and synergy, Wicked Implement has it. Now getting into the other avenues that this weapon actually does have on lock is Champ Stunning. Wicked Implement has technically the ability to stun all three champions. Slow for the overloads, shatter for the unstops, and if you just hold down the trigger on an anti-barrier, you can have them in a loop of infinite freezing. The anti-stunning will need some workarounds. I found the best way is to just reload every time the freeze kicks in so you have more ammo for the next freeze, but nonetheless you can do this. But here's where we get into my opinion for this weapon now, and that is that I just don't care for it at all. It's plain, it's boring, it gives me Polaris Lance type vibes. But even I think that Polaris Lance is just a better weapons in terms for an exotic scout. In a world where my options are do four precision hits, and my reward for that would be a single target slow or a splash damage explosion, I'm going for the splash damage explosion every time. On paper, Wicked Implement is the best weapon under the sun. Synergizes with nearly the entire subclass, has an avenue of getting its own armor charges, and can stun all three champions in the game. But then you have it in your hands and you're actually using it. And it does everything it promises, sure, but it's just not the best use of an exotic slot. We have too many better options that can use that slot. Plus it promotes the most boring play style of just standing in the back and poking enemies. But if you think that's fun, then this weapon is perfect for you. I for one will never be touching this thing, but do let me know what you think politely in the comments. Thank you. Now if you have found this video insightful in any way possible, subscribe and like this video. It helps me more than you think. Plus it's free, so why not? Peace.